welcome to today's lecture today i will uh, discuss the remaining portions what we taught in yesterday in yesterday in the previous class we discussed about this uh, min maximal compatible classes so next step we need to find out the minimal collection of maximal compatible set so we found out the maximum compatible set from this we need to find out the minimum uh, selection minimum collection of uh, maximum compatible set for that we have to draw a table like this this is for minimum collection of maximum compatible set so internal states you have to represent it in a row a b c d e f now in column wise you have to write the maximum compatible set what are the maximum compatible set e f b d a c a b so e f b d a c a b these are the maximum compatible set that you right here okay e f uh, b d a c these are the e uh, maximum compatible set these are the states now you scan each and every column e f whenever e f comes there you put a cross mark at this stage you don't consider this circle at this stage you don't consider this circle you just consider only the cross marks so e f where is there any e f here no e f here no no e f no e f E F oh yeah yeah there is an E E state so you put a cross mark. E F again check ah yeah, there is a F stage so you put a cross mark. No B D check B D is there any B D combination no B is there cross mark C not there D is there B D combination D is there remaining E F no. For A C check ah uh, yeah there is an A is there so it is A. Is there any B so no B no cross mark. Is you check A C. C is there, so you put a cross mark. Remaining are D, E, F. It is not there. A, C is not in this case. Now consider A, B. So A is there, B is there. Remaining are not there in this set. So each and every set check the remaining sets. E, F is there. For that E, F column, you put a cross mark. Remaining no need to write anything. Okay. Now consider the column wise. Check the column. And in the column, if there is a single cross mark, circle that corresponding column. This is like the uh, prime implicans. In prime implicans, you are we are finding that primitive prime implicans. Now the same steps we are using here. So the column, um, single cross mark, you circle that. In this column, we have two cross mark, don't circle. Here two cross mark, don't circle. Here single cross mark, circle this. Single cross mark, circle this. In this column, single cross, circle this, circle this. Now, circled rows you mark a star. So this is starred, and this is star. This is starred. So you have to take only the star signed sets. This you can eliminate. So E F E F B D A C E F B D A C is the minimal collection of maximum compatible sets. This is the minimal collection of maximal compatible set. So here we eliminate A B. So this is the procedure. Next is the uh, minimal flow table. How to write the minimal flow table? So these are the uh, minimal collection of maximum compatible sets. So assign these sets to a new to a new notation or a new different value. I am writing E F as alpha. I am writing A, uh, that order, in that order I am writing A, C, B, D, E, F. For A, C, I am writing it as alpha. For B, D, it is beta. E, F, it is gamma. Okay. Now I am writing the alpha, beta, gamma values. How to write this alpha, beta values? A, C, 0, 0. What is the next set? For A, C, look at the uh, diagram. In diagram, C, for A, next set is A, for C, A, 0, 0, A only, C, 0, 0, A only, okay. So here, A, 0, 0, A only, what is A, instead of A, you can write alpha here, so alpha. Now, A, 0, 1, what is the next state? For A, 0, 1, next set is B. For C, 0, next set is down here, so, so don't need to consider that. For A, next set, you can consider only one stage. Why? Because all these things are same only, na? A, C, A, C and same only. So A, 0, 1, B. So what is B here? C, 
see b and d represented by beta so here b actually b comes so instead of b you can write this beta this is actually this is not a, this is actually beta okay so beta here now a one zero what is a one zero look at the table this is a one zero it is c only so what it is c only what is c alpha so you put alpha now a one one what is a one one a one one is don't care what is c one one a and c is a set only no a and one don't care then check for c c one one it is e what is e from this assignment state assignment e is gamma so you have to write gamma here like that you completely fill up this table now check alpha same state repeating you can write you can draw, draw a circle this is present state a if present state and next state both are equal you can put a circle this is alpha this is alpha circle this is alpha and next state is also alpha circle these two are different now consider beta here beta beta circle beta circle alpha in this row gamma sorry gamma in this row gamma is circled gamma gamma why right? because present state become next state for this input this present state become next state for this input and that present state and next state are equal so that is a stable state so that's why we circled this states now look at the table uh, remaining is the output you can just write the output for a 0 0 output is 0 only na so for a uh, hmm. For a, 0, 0, output is 0. You get here this table also, you can write same, both are same already. No? So for a, 0, 0, output is 0. Okay, so for a, 0, 0, output is 0 only. So that's why, for a, instead of a, it is alpha. Alpha, 0, 0, output is 0. 0, 1 is not defined, don't care. 1, 0, what is 1, 0? So for a, 1, 0 not, de not there, but for C, 1, 0, 0 is there. So that's why 0 is there. For 1, 1, it is not defined like that. For beta, for B, uh, consider this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, B, 0, 0, don't care. B, 0, 0, don't care. Okay. B and D, D also you have to check. D also don't care, no need to write. But what for uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, B, 0, 1. It is zero. D zero one don't care, but B zero one it is zero. So for zero one you have to write zero. For the for this B zero one output is zero. Like that you fill up this from that flow table you can fill up the outputs to this minimum flow table. So what is the difference? Here initially this in this flow table initially we have seven states. A to F we have seven state, but after the reduction, that seven state is reduced into a simple three states. So this is the minimum flow table reduced flow table. That seven state is mapped into or reduced into just three states. So the problem will be so the analysis will become very easy for us. So this is the minimum. So the un unwanted or un unstable states we eliminated and finally we filtered out the three pure states. Okay. So that support the uh, minimum state table. Uh, one more method is there. Uh, uh, there is another concept of merger graph. This is merger graph. Uh, this is also another method to find out the maximum uh, uh, minimal collection of maximal compatible set. See, look at the look at here. This is another method, a merger graph. See. Yeah, look at here the tick mark you take the tick mark a equal to b so you can write it as uh, a equal to b then a equal to c so you can write as a equal to c here b equal to d so you can write as b equal to d yeah another tick mark e equal to f so you can write as e equal to f and now you draw draw this a b c d f points like a circle like uh, a B, C, D, E, F, like a circle. Uh, this is actually a circle form, and you write uh, these points like this in the in the 
there is the outer of the circle now you join the equal sign a equal to b like that that means a equal to b it is like a, like this a equal to c means like this and b equal to d means uh, like this and d equal to f means like this okay so that i represented here so in this you have to check uh, here also you have to try to eliminate uh, the lines suppose if you are eliminating this these two states become uh, we remove this these two state become uh, alone see in this graph what we have to do is we have to eliminate the lines but the single state should not be go alone it should be with the corresponding state suppose uh, if i uh, eliminated this stage what happens is uh, a is connected to b so this connection is there but c alone it is completely gone out from the set okay that won't be possible if i eliminate this uh, if i eliminate this what happens is uh, b is there with the a connection is there so b will be existing but this b will be completely gone out from the set but if i eliminate this line what will happen see this a will be connected to c so this will not be go away from the set this v b will be in connection with the d after eliminating this line so the points will not be go away from the set it will be in associated with the set but we can eliminate that line like that the rule is there so if you eliminate a line you just check that corresponding points will not go away alone from the set so you consider this a and b so if i eliminate this line a is will be with the a is associated with c b is associated with c so there is no problem if i eliminate this line d will be gone b is associated with a but d will be completely gone out so that is not possible so uh, if you eliminate any line it won't affect the points to go out from the state set so here i am eliminating this and the remaining set i will represent it a c is a set p d is a set e f is a set see the same set we got this is the maximum minimal compatible set of maximum classes e f b d that is a c b d e f same we will get from here also a c b d e f okay that is another method so in this kind of merger graph if a triangle reaches like this uh, b c d like that then you can take this triangle as a single point okay b c d is a set like that if triangle if there is no triangle here if this connection is here that means that at that time that will become a triangle so if triangle comes that uh, three points you can consider as a single set so that is another rule okay so this is also possible in designing for obtaining the maximum as so a minimal solution of maximum compatible set so this is actually the minimum flow table okay so the remaining will be discussed in the next class